this is the look that I always do if I go to an event this is the makeup look I do if I'm gonna film with Trey this is the makeup look I do when I film with Elsie this is the makeup look I do if I'm gonna go party it up if I'm gonna go to the baile this is the makeup look I do <laughs> What to do, baby boos? <laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, like always. I'm a little lagger. I know, I know. I've been slacking. I'm so sorry, guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup look or my go-to makeup look. Some of you guys probably don't give a shit about this tutorial because you guys are tired of seeing me with red or orange eyeshadow. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I just. I was in the mood to film, so I filmed this for you guys. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some of the Lash Barley styles. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alondra, and I just launched my new lash line. And if you guys are new to this channel, then some of you guys might know already that I launched my lash line on New Year's, and it's called the Lash Barley. And I just want to thank all of you babes for all your support, and I am going to be having a PR list, and I'm going to have some rules on the Lash Barley's Instagram. In a few days so make sure to follow the lash bar lay on instagram bam so yeah if you guys are interested in knowing how i got this makeup look go ahead and keep watching so before we get right into this tutorial make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video by the way i wanted to mention if i'm a little boring in this video i am so sorry i don't know what happens to me when i film alone it's like when i film on this channel my personality has left the chat <laughs> Because, I don't know, I just feel like when I'm filming makeup tutorials, I'm very concentrated on, you know, doing my makeup versus, like, talking to you guys. So, that's why I don't get to show a lot of my personality. But, I hope you guys don't get bored of me. And I hope you guys is still subscribe. And, yeah, that was a little disclaimer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with are brows. And I use the other girl brow pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I love this brush. It's honestly my favorite brow brush. It has a spoolie in one end and then the little brow brush in the other end. My eyebrows are literally so freaking hairy. I have not gotten them done in so long. So I just underline the bottom of my brows. Then I comb my little hairs downwards. And then I draw a line at the top. Oh my god, I drew that so ugly. Then boom boom, here are my brows. And then I like to clean them up with concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after I do the other brow. Okay, so I finished both my brows. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. I used the NARS. Ew, look how freaking cochina I am. Just like eyelash glue, pieces of eyelashes. I'm so gross. Okay, so I used the NARS, what is it? The Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is honestly my favorite concealer to clean up the brows. And I also use it to like prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Dude, I've been looking feita today because I don't know why I woke up with like a super swollen face and my- Hello, motherfucker. I'm filming like I was saying I don't know why but I woke up with like a super swollen face so like all this looks swollen so my under eyes look really sunken in I don't know why I think yeah, under eyes in sunken place. you're stupid it's because I slept on my face last night I think that's why I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the bottom of my brows and I'm also going to prime the whole eyelid so I just take it all the way down to my eyelids. Hey baby. Actually, let me try this Oh, he brought me some Starbucks. Oh yeah, it's flight. You are right. Let me see. Oh, she always gets this drink. Well, she's been like getting it recently. It's a salted caramel latte. It's freaking delicious. Two hours later. So you see how much of a difference it makes? It's not blended out yet, but look at this one. It looks so dark. You can see all my veins. 
and the eyebrow doesn't look you know defined okay so for my eyeshadow i usually use like one or two eyeshadows that's why i don't take that long doing my makeup because i don't do like cut creases every day or like shit like that so i do something very very simple so today i'm going to be using this ColourPop eyeshadow i don't know how to pronounce this shadow so i'll just put the name right here and i'm going to be using a makeup shack a t68 brush and i do have a discount code for all makeup shack products and it is a laundry i'll also put it down here so you guys could get a discount if you guys want to go shop at the makeup shack i think you could only use it online not in stores i use this as a transition shade So I like to apply this shadow right to my crease and I like blend it upwards. We are done with this transition shade. Now I'm going to move on to my outer crease shade. So for my outer crease, I use my Alondra Desi palette. And I already hit pan on this eyeshadow because I literally use it every single day. And I use the Boss Babe, which is this eyeshadow right here. Sometimes I just use this one alone. Like I just use that one eyeshadow and that's it. But today, I wanted to try out the ColourPop eyeshadow, which is why I'm using two today. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I'm using the ColourPop E1 brush, which is this one. I never used this brush before, so hopefully I like it. This has synthetic um, bristles. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Boss Babe and apply this to my outer corners. And then I like to blend it up as well. It just like gives you a little bit more depth. So a few days ago, I made Trey go buy me a vacuum, and this is how you know I'm a senora already because I got so excited to be getting a freaking vacuum because, I don't know, I'm such a messy person, and I always try to remind myself to like clean up after myself, and I thought a vacuum would help, and I don't know, just getting a vacuum made me so happy. That's one of my New Year's resolutions is to be cleaner because I am like the messiest person in the world. Comment down below what your New Year's resolution is. So now I'm grabbing the Makeup Shack brush that I used earlier and blending these two shades together. That's literally it for eyeshadow. Then I apply lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then I'll be back for the lashes. So now I finished my eyeshadow. I literally do my eyeshadow in like a minute or two because I already have it down. I only use two shades. Bam, bam, real quick. Okay, so now for the exciting part, you guys know I freaking love lashes. If you guys aren't new to this channel, then you guys already know that I have my own lash line because all of my subscribers came from Instagram or from the Laundry and Elsie channel. So it is called The Lash Bar LA. And they did a launch on New Year's and oh my god, I was so freaking overwhelmed when they launched because I was in Vegas when they launched and then I had to like come back real quick to like ship out the orders and I was very overwhelmed because you know, it's a new business and I didn't expect to get that many orders all in one day but I think I got that many orders because obviously it had just launched. I was in Vegas with Elsie and Trey and then our flight back to LA was supposed to be on the second and we literally missed our flight by like two minutes. So we either had to buy a new ticket or we were on standby, which means if someone misses their flight, we get to take their seat. And then there was only one standby ticket, which was for Elsie. And you know, no one likes traveling alone. No one likes flying alone. So we were like, you know what? Let's just get another flight. And, and we freaking looked at the flight prices we were like because they usually go up in price when it's like new year's or like a holiday so oh and to top it off the flights weren't into like two days later so we freaking took an uber from vegas to la because i was like so desperate to come back home because i had like so much shit to do but yeah that's my little story i'm honestly so proud of myself for even launching a lash line because I used to always like doubt myself in the past. I would always be like, what if they don't sell? Like I would just not believe in myself. Then when I saw the orders come in on the first, I was I was so shook. You guys love me. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting me and my brand. I honestly highly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all three pairs of lashes that are already released. So initially I was supposed to launch some mink lashes and some faux mink but um, the mink lashes are delayed which is why I only launched a faux mink and synthetic. So I usually always do the same makeup look and I just switch out eyelashes like every day maybe. But I feel like my go-tos and my absolute go-tos are untamed which are these lashes right here. It's a little dirty because they were on my vanity with all my makeup. But these are untamed. 
style untamed and these are the ones i usually use then these are a heartbreaker then we got a baby girl which are these i feel like the most dramatic ones are untamed right now and i love dramatic eyelashes i'm gonna go ahead and try on all three pairs for you guys so you guys can see what they look like on my eyes okay so the first pair i'm gonna try are a heartbreaker and i'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara before applying my eyelashes and i'm using the covergirl lash blast active mascara okay so the first pair like i said is heartbreaker I think the eyelash glue got too dry. Eyelash glue got too dry. <gasps> okay, so these are heartbreaker right here. So you can see the difference without eyelashes and then with eyelashes. I think I glued them a little bit too much towards the inner corner already on but this is what they look like heartbreaker and these retail for ten dollars okay so i'm gonna go ahead and remove heartbreaker i'm gonna apply baby girl obviously you are going to have to trim some of these eyelashes like baby girl i do trim the ends of it because my eye isn't like wide enough it's crazy because i feel like well any eyelash looks different on every eye shape but I feel like especially baby girl, they look so different on some people. Like on some people, they look dramatic. And on some people, they look super natural. So it does all depend on your eye shape. And it also does depend on how you glue the eyelash. I glue them like upwards. Some people glue them on straight so they look more natural if you glue them on like upwards. If that makes any sense, they look more dramatic. I like to like push them upwards. So whenever I want these lashes to look natural, I just glue them on straight, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now for foundation, damn, look at the difference the freaking lashes made. I don't look dead no more. <laughs> okay, so for um, the foundation, I used to always use the NARS um, Radiant Foundation, I think it was called. But now I moved on to the LA Girl one. I've been using this for quite a while now i think it's been like a month or two probably like a month i love it because it's like super matte i don't like using a primer with this one and i am in the shade medium beige and it covers like everything that i need to you know cover up and this is a really affordable foundation it's a drugstore foundation so like i was saying it's a pretty affordable foundation and i also have a discount code with la girl so obviously you could only use it online on the LA Girl website so it's gonna be even cheaper so after like i dot the foundation all over my face i like to clean up the top of my eyebrows with that same foundation i just grab the concealer brush that i was using before clean up the top of my brows i feel like this makes the biggest difference in the world it just makes them look super super like clean i can't believe i'm doing my makeup from this far away my vision is like starting to get like kind of bad so i don't know how the heck i'm doing this i don't even know if they look symmetrical i always have a hard oh my god i always have a hard time doing my left eyebrow for some reason i don't know why i just mess it up i have bald spots like right up in the front too whatever as long as my right eyebrow looks perfect because the right side is my good side so i never show my left eyebrow anyways okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend out this foundation with the makeup shack sponge and to make it easier for you guys, I'm just going to have all the discount codes down below in the description. Instead of me like telling you guys that I have a discount code for every single product. <laughs> I don't want to annoy you guys. I also love how like light this foundation feels. It doesn't feel like heavy on the skin. It kind of reminds me of the Fenty foundation, but like less dry. And I feel like the Fenty foundation kind of dried my skin out. This one reminded me of it, but it, this one didn't like dry out my skin. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? All this blending. This blending is my cardio. Like if someone asks me if I go to the gym, I'm gonna say yes. Because I've been doing cardio every day, blending this makeup out. Okay, so now time for concealer. I love, 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 love my Tarte Shape Tape. I either use this one or the Huda Beauty Concealer. I can't find my Huda Beauty one, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm in the shade Light Medium. I used to use a way lighter shade and it would make my under eyes like hella highlighted 
And then when I would take pictures, it would look so like ashy. So I got a darker shade and I feel like it looks way better now. And I didn't realize how expensive this Tarte Shape Tape was until like recently. It's like $27, I thought it was like $23. I feel like it used to be cheaper because when I used to buy it back then, I don't remember it being $27. Is it even $27? But I don't know. I feel like it's worth it because they like barely crease it. And then contour with this NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. I love using this as contour because it blends out so easily and it doesn't look too dark when you blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and use this ColourPop um, brush. This is the F4 brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend this contour out. Like, do you guys see how easily that contour blends out? It's like so amazing. Cause sometimes when you try contouring with like some concealers, like matte concealers, they're so hard to blend out, which is why I don't like using concealers all the time. Or if I do use concealers, I like applying it like one at a time. Like I don't like apply the whole contour all over my face. Like, first I apply like the cheek contour and blend it out, then the forehead one and I blend it out. I don't apply all the contour all at once, but with this one I could do that because it doesn't like dry out. Oh my god, I apologize if I'm like out of frame. I just can't see the left side of my face because the camera is covering the mirror. So after this I like to bake and before baking I like to grab the little tip of the sponge and I like to blend out any like creases that I may have because I don't set the concealer right away so I just blend it out and then I bake with the Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade pound cake with the same sponge I use the same sponge for foundation concealer contour and baking and I do apply a lot of this and I don't leave it on for too long because I feel like if I leave it on for too long, it does make my under eyes look a little dry. But that's with <coughs> any setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and dust off this setting powder. And I'm going to be using a ColourPop F01 brush. This is a powder brush. And I usually don't pick my forehead. I just grab like the leftover powder. And kind of dusted on my forehead because my forehead doesn't really get oily okay, so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my under eyes i'm gonna be using the makeup shack t14 brush which is this brush right here go ahead and grab the same eyeshadow that i used on my outer corner which was boss babe from the alondra desi palette okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply um eyeliner to my waterline and i like using the sigma longwear eyeliner pencil which is this one and i love that you don't have to sharpen this pencil you just like twist it up even though it looks like a regular pencil now i'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara this is another cover girl mascara this one's similar to the other one i just couldn't find the other one i don't know where i placed the other one but it has the same wand and i love this wand for like lower lashes because I feel like it makes your lower lashes like look super long. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to face because your girl is looking super pale. So let's go ahead and bronze up and apply blush. Okay, so to bronze up, I like you've seen the Makeup Shack Silhouette. What is it? Contour palette. And it's so broken. Look, Trey broke my freaking palette. Even though he doesn't want to admit it. I know I didn't break it, so I know it was him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Shag T20 brush. And I'm going to grab Sunkiss and Bronze and mix these two colors. So this one is Sunkiss right here. This one's Bronze. And I like using these two shades. I just like giving my face a little bit more color. Like I like to look a little bit more bronzed. Oh my god, is it me or do my eyes still look sunken in? I don't know if it's the lighting. What if I move it more towards this way? No, my camera's about to die. So my camera died. I charged it for a little bit. Hopefully it like... Oh my god, do I have a freaking moco? So I was in the process of bronzing my face. I'm using the Makeup Shag Silhouette Contour Palette. Just gave myself a little bit more color. And I don't contour my nose. I just like bronze it up a little bit with those same two shades okay so i usually use a tart blush but i can't find it so i'm going to be using the bomb alternative palette alternative rock and it has a bronzer a blush 
and some highlights so i'm going to be using bare minimum and i lost my blush brush so i'm using this big ass powder brush this is the makeup shack t7 brush and you know what it does the job so i just like applying the blush to the apples in my cheeks and then i'm gonna grab a bigger like powder brush and blend everything out okay so now for a highlight i'm gonna be using the urban decay naked cherry highlight and blush palette i'm gonna be using this highlighter right here okay so i like applying highlight to the tip of my nose with my finger just do this and then i apply a little bit to my cheekbones i usually don't put a lot of highlight sometimes i don't use highlight at all okay so for my cheek highlight um i'm gonna be using another highlight because i don't want to use the same one i want to try this one out it's a color pop collab with becky g it's a loose highlighter in the shade chisme i don't know i just really want to try it the latinas love the chisme I like applying like loose highlighters when my face is a little like I'm gonna say moist, a little bit like wet from the setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. I usually use the Urban Decay setting spray, but like always, I can't find any of my shit using this CoverGirl one. I'm gonna spray myself a little bit. Bam bam. I'm gonna spray the brush a little bit. Let's try. Does it actually look? Pretty cute. Oh, it looks cute actually. Stop mocking me. Okay, so this is what Chisme looks like. Dude, oh my god, I love this highlighter. It's so beautiful. Okay, so my camera is about to die again. So, last step lipstick. So, I'm gonna be using the I Love Sarai Times Color Pop Collab. And I'm going to be using the Sonia de Coco like, lipstick and this is such a beautiful shade. I used this one yesterday and I loved it. Okay, so that is it for my go-to makeup look or my everyday look. This is the look that I always do if I go to an event. This is the makeup look I do. If I'm going to film with Trey, this is the makeup look I do. When I film with Elsie, this is the makeup look I do. If I'm going to go party it up. If I'm going to go to the baile, this is the makeup look I do. <laughs> so yeah, this is the makeup look I do for everything. I forgot to mention, I did add a highlight to my inner corners. That is it. I used Lit from the La Desi Times Glam Light Palette, which is this one right here. A beautiful highlight shade so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm gonna leave the link to the lash bar lit down below and if you guys want to keep up with me make sure to hit that subscribe button i am going to be posting a lot more i promise this time i freaking promise it's i just noticed that i lined my lips so freaking ugly so i'm so sorry about that my new year's resolution as well to be more active on here with you guys all of a sudden i got like so much energy maybe it's this latte yeah and i'm also going to be linking all the products that i use down below as well as discount codes and yeah see you guys next time